Now at noon, it's been two weeks since the Richard Allen Delphi double murders trial began. And this morning, the defense tried to paint a picture of what the accused killer's life was been like since being locked up awaiting trial. CBS 4's Russ McQuaid joins us now live with the latest from the courtroom today. Russ. And good afternoon, Melissa. You know, now that prosecutors have wrapped up their case against Richard Allen, the man accused of killing Libby German and Abby Williams outside of Delphi near the Monon High Bridge in 2017. And the way they wrapped up their case was to play audio tapes of phone calls between Allen and his wife that originated in, from inside prison where Allen was being held pre-trial. Now it's up to Allen's defense team to convince jurors that he was, in his own words, losing his mind. Jurors heard audio of Allen telling his wife, quote, I killed Abby and Libby, and his wife answered, no, you didn't. Said Allen, I think I did. Said Kathy, they are messing with your mind. On May 10th of 2023, Allen told his wife, I think maybe I've lost my mind. I need you to know I did this. Kathy Allen answered, you are not well. A month later, Allen told Kathy, I did it. Do you still love me? She answered, yes, dear, but you didn't do it. You can't call me and talk like this. But the defense team needs jurors to ask, what was Allen's condition like when he confessed? One prison psychiatrist testified that Allen suffered from severe mental illness and solitary confinement inside the Westville Correctional Facility, a maximum security state prison, where Dr. Deanna Dwenger, another prison psychologist, testified that even just faking symptoms like prosecutors are accusing Allen of doing, could be a sign of mental illness. But even someone who is faking occasionally will slip a true claim into their ramblings or comments, such as when Allen told his wife he killed Abby and Libby on February, 20, February 13, 2017, near the Monon High Bridge outside of Delphi. When I left court just a few minutes ago, there was a debate going on between the attorneys and the judge. The defense team wants to introduce video shot inside of Allen's prison cell and also shot by corrections officers of Allen walking back and forth in shackles to go meet his attorneys or to go meet his wife. The judge seemed to indicate that she would allow the showing of those videos to indicate Allen's visual con uh, condition, but she won't permit the audio to be played for the jurors. In Delphi, Russ McQuaid, CBS 4 News. Russ, thank you for that update for us. Stay with CBS4 as we continue to cover every day of the trial. Go to CBS4ND.com anytime for wrap-ups of the day's testimony.